Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about now is, is how do I multiply polynomials using the grid method. Uh, the important thing here to be able to even use the grid method, the first thing is you have to be able to identify how many terms the polynomial is made up of. So if I take a look at this first polynomial up here, which is a binomial, uh, it's made up of two terms. Whatever separates addition or subtraction separates your terms. So I have one addition sign separating two terms. And in this one, I have one subtraction sign separating two terms. So that's going to be the startup of my grid. And what I need to have here is I need to have a grid okay, that goes two across and two down. And the reason it's going to go two across and two down is because there's two terms in the one, so that determines my across or my down, whichever you prefer. And I have two in the second. So I'm going to draw a grid that goes two across and two down. So here we go. So here comes my grid. So what I've got here is kind of like a tic-tac-toe board. I always leave this upper corner blank to let me know what am I going to be doing with all of these values. And in this case, I'm going to be multiplying them. So if you want, you can roll multiplying, you can put an X there, I mean, whatever you want to do. But either way, I'm going to be multiplying. And what I'm going to do here is on the outer side of my grid, okay, in these little space areas, I'm going to put the polynomials. So in the top one, I'm going to take each term and put it in its own box. So in the top one here, I have an x. And if I had a negative 2 here, I'd write negative with it. But since it's a positive 2, I can just write 2. And along down this side, okay, down the column here, okay, I'm going to put the other one. So I'm going to put this 2x minus 5. So 2x. And it's important now that you put the minus sign with it. You've got to make sure that the negative goes with anything. So I have a negative 5. Okay, so what I'm now going to do here is that for me to properly multi multiply these, I'm just now going to fill in this grid. So how on earth do I fill in this grid? Well, the x's go down, right, and the 2's go down. These x's would go across this row, and this negative 5 would go across the row. So all I'm going to do is figure out when my variables, technically, if you take a look at this arrow method, okay, that wherever they cross, I'm going to multiply. So x and 2x are going to cross in this box. So if I multiply x times 2x, it gives me 2x squared. In this box here, the 2 crosses with this 2x. Because remember, the 2x always goes across, and this 2 is going to go down. So in this column and in this row, this is where 2 and 2x meet, which is going to make a 4x. And remember, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying. And then if I go down here in the first column again, and I go down, well, the x, okay, meets with the negative 5 in this area. So what is negative 5 times x? Well, it's negative 5x. And in the last column, in the last block here, what I have is I've got 2 is going to meet with the negative 5, which is going to make a negative 10. So at this point, what I, this allowed me to do is it did all of my multiplications for me, and now all I have to do is combine like terms. So in my grid here, okay, I'm going to look for inside this box. Okay, so this is the box that I want to focus my attention on now to finish off this problem. And I'm going to write out whatever I've created inside this box out to the right. So I've created 2x squared okay, plus 4x minus 5x minus 10. So what you see there is all I do is transpose all of this out here horizontally. And the last thing i got to do is just combine like terms. And to combine my like terms, I have positive 4 and negative 5x. So I've got 2x squared minus x, minus 10. And then my final answer of this polynomial multiplied is going to be 2x squared, sorry, from a squared, 2x squared minus x minus 10. And that's the final answer. So that's the grid method, okay? So that's just another method for you to use. So let's bump this up a notch and let's uh, change it a little bit. So instead of just being a binomial times a binomial, let's do maybe a binomial times a trinomial. Okay, and we're still gonna apply this grid method. So I'm going to keep the, the first one the same. Uh, I'm just going to change the second one. And I'm going to say let's make this x squared plus 3x minus uh, 1. So here we go. First things first, let's set up our grid. So my grid needs to have either 2 across or 3 across, whichever you prefer. And in this case, I'm going to choose 3, choose three across. So I'm going to have three rows. So one, so here's my first row, here's my second row, and here's my third row. And then what I need to have is my columns. I need to have two columns, okay? So this is one. I don't ever count this space. I always leave this blank 
So that, that spot there, okay, tells me what I'm doing. And in this case, I'm going to be multiplying. So I might put like an X or a dot or whatever it is you want, or you can leave a blank, whichever you prefer. And I have to have two going down. So now I'm just going to fill them in. So the top, I had three, okay, because there's three terms here. And this one I had two because there are two. I'd rather write horizontally farther than I went down. It didn't matter whether I chose the three to be up here or the three over here. I just chose a way. So the first things first, I'm going to do x squared up here. So notice I'm just taking these and filling in the grid. So this is 3x, and in this one, the negative has to go with it. It's negative 1. So notice that I'm just going to write these here. So x, and I'm going to write 2. So again, remember that these go down and these go across. What I'm doing here is multiplying because the, what links these two polynomials is multiplication in the first place. So that's why I'm doing multiplication. So here we go. So using this grid, so the x squareds go down this column, 3x down this one, negative 1s, the x's go across, and the 2s go across. So in this box, x squared and x are going to meet. So x squared times x is x cubed. So 3x times x, in this case, is what's going to meet in this box. So that's 3x squared. And then I have negative 1 meets the x, which is a negative 1x. Okay? And in this box here, okay, I have x squared meeting 2, which is 2x squared. I have 3x meeting the 2 down here, okay, because this goes down, so this goes across. So at this box right here, that's where 2 and 3x intersect, which gives me a 6x. And in the last box here, I have negative 1 and 2 where they're going to meet, which makes a negative 2, okay? Now, you might start to notice some patterns within your box, but if you notice here, notice that my like terms are always on a diagonal. So if I wanted to, I could simplify right from this box and go, okay, I have an x cubed. I have a 3x squared and a 2x squared. Well, 3x squared and 2x squared really makes my 5x squared. So that's 5x squared. And I have a negative x and a, po and a positive 6x, which makes positive 5x. And then I just have a negative 2, which doesn't have any other like terms. So we're at minus 2. So I'm just going to write this down below. So I have x cubed plus 5x squared plus 5x minus 2. And there you have it. Okay. And that is what I call the grid method, and um, it's used just as well, and for me, I don't care for my students which way they get the right answer, as long as they get the right answer, and that's the right answer there. Um, and, and if you're a person who likes to write it all out, uh, the last one I just showed you, just wrote it all out. Um, I just wanted to show you another little shortcut here, as opposed to writing this all out. Just look for your common terms and just combine them inside the grid and just write them out, and you'll have an answer. Okay, so I hope that helps with any uh, type of homework problems you're doing.